Greetings and salutations, boys and girls. How you doing? This is just a very informal video talking about what I have been up to this afternoon. I decided that I would eschew any real work and play with Linux, which is something that I haven't done in quite some time, at least very seriously. I posted the video where I was talking about Ubuntu and their kernel weirdness. It's the last thing I posted. You might want to go check it out. If you haven't seen it, then this video is not going to make a whole lot of sense. You guys really jumped into the comments, had you had a lot to say, and several people were talking about Linux Mint Debian Edition and how you felt that it was the future of Linux Mint. I also have a friend of mine, John, who is on LMDE and loves it, and so I decided to install it. So that's why this video looks and sounds a little bit different. This is exactly the machine that I was talking about that was giving me heartburn with the Broadcom Wi-Fi drivers. That's what caused me to figure out what they were doing with the kernels and everything. Well, I decided that I would try LMDE on it, and at first I was like, I don't know. In the past when I have done this, I've always run across some problem or it's been hard to install. I noticed on the live USB stick when I plugged it in and booted it up that there was no driver manager. I thought, oh my goodness, we're going to have a problem with drivers for the Wi-Fi. No, nothing like that. As a matter of fact, it's changed quite a bit since the last time I looked at the uh, LMDE distribution. And the install process could not have been any more simpler. It was probably the slickest, nicest, simplest installer that I have ever used. So hats off to the Linux Mint team for that. It installed the driver automatically. So if you are a Linux Mint user and your version is based on Ubuntu, you're probably used to this idea of having this uh, driver manager. Well, as you can see, it ain't there. But fortunately, they take care of it for you. Now, if something goes wrong later on, I'd probably have to figure out how to troubleshoot that at a terminal, but I'm a big boy. I can handle that. Uh, the other thing that impressed me was how easy it was to find packages that I needed. Now, in the past, that's been a problem. First of all, I'm using Simple Screen Recorder to record this video right now. That was not in the Debian repos, and you either had to go build it or... I, it was some weird thing that you had to do to get it into the system. It's just here. I installed FFmpeg and I installed Simple Screen Recorder and boom, there it was. So that's awesome. Also, a little package called MP3 Gain that I just can't live without because I have a very large uh, MP3 music library that I maintain. And that's always been my kind of bellwether to see whether a distribution is something I can use. For a while, it was gone from Ubuntu and Debian and the uh, Wimpy. You guys might know uh, Martin Wimpress, who uh, runs the Ubuntu Mate program, that particular distribution. He was maintaining it for a while, plus it ended up in a snap package. That made me happy. But now, I just typed in sudo apt install, boom, there you got it. It was done. And it is running wonderful on this almost 10 year old machine. This is a machine from 2014. I've been able to play video uh, right now. You'll see in the background I have HTOP running in this terminal right here and we're capturing HD video right now boys and girls and it's really not uh, using that much system resource. This may be on my main machine the distribution that I go to in the future. This might be the start of something big. So just wanted to kind of show you guys around here. A um, couple of things I want to show you before I wrap up the video. Uh, when I was working on this this afternoon, I got this message. <laughs> and I haven't seen this in a very long time. And for, for those of you who um, are on low resolution devices. Let me uh, tell you what this says here. It says, we trust you have received the usual lecture from the local system administrator. It usually boils down to these three things. Respect the privacy of others. Think before you type. With great power comes great responsibility. That's something that Debian has 
put up on the screen the first time that you type in your sudo password for a very long time and I hadn't seen that in quite some time it made me smile as a matter of fact this will probably be the thumbnail for this video so anyhow uh, another thing that I wanted to kind of talk about a little bit before I wrap this up was uh, somebody had asked me what desktop are you running and I said cinnamon and they said well I'm running cinnamon and it doesn't look like that well when you install it you can choose the old cinnamon or the new cinnamon and I always choose the old version and then I use the old mint X theme which is still in the uh, choices in the themes and make it look like Linux Mint 17.3 or as close as I can get to it so that's the way I like it boys and girls and what's really funny is is that this particular desktop scheme to some people looks really cool and other people really don't like it so I like it it's one of my favorites so I'm going to be playing around with this on this machine and and seeing what I can do with it thus far I haven't found anything I can't and of course since it is Debian we don't have to worry about any of those kernel update shenanigans matter of fact let's see what kernel we're on you name R. Well, we are on kernel 510.0 and it's uh, 21 Debian. So I'm perfectly all right with that. I've got to remember my current machine right now is running on uh, Debian kernel, um, or rather Ubuntu kernel 5.4. The only thing that may be a problem here is if I can't get NVIDIA to work on my machine. That may be a problem because uh, right now I have an older NVIDIA card in that machine and I'm kind of stuck with it. So I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at that and see whether uh, there are drivers for that in uh, this edition of Linux Mint Debian uh, edition, LMDE. Yep, mm -hmm. we'll see how that goes. So look forward to updates on the way. Let's go ahead and get the whole thing here. Yep, that's the Debian kernel we're running right now. Very cool indeed. As usual, comments, suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.